Hello, and welcome back to another video. So I'm just going to show you how to download mods for Planet Zoo. So just type in Google Planet Zoo mods, and then it will come up with this first link, which is Nexus Mods. It's the best website to use, Nexus Mods here. And as you can see, you've got your mods. So our update for Planet Zoo right now is 1.8. So make sure all the mods you download have 1.8 in bracket next to them. 1.8, 1.8. It won't work if it's not 1.8. That's the latest version. It's a bit like downloading mods from Minecraft and other stuff. It has to be for the latest version for it to work. So, uh, yeah, once you're on this website, you just need to create an account, which is free. You can choose to pay to help uh, like the modders, like supporters, and you also get faster downloads and stuff. But you don't have to. Just create an account for free. Just put your username and, or email and then create a password. Really simple. So, let's just search a mod. Uh, let's say, for instance, uh, Ocelot mod. There you go, 1.8 Ocelot. There you go, it will come up there. Some mods will require you to have a DLC, like the Aquatic DLC, for example, for you to actually download some of the mods. Let's just test that quickly. So let's say uh, the Aquatic DLC I don't have myself. So let's say Penguin. Penguin, there you go. And we will get the Emperor Penguin, I believe. And then here we go, it brings you to the actual one. It's got 1.8, so it's up to date. And then you've got your download here, you can do it full text or manual just do it manually just click manual and then there you go additional requires aquatic pack that will tell you you need the pack but for some mods you won't need them so let's go back to ocelot for example and let's see i don't have ocelot downloaded it's just an animal that came to my head let's see if this needs to have it so let's click manual again and no it doesn't it now comes to this one so now you can do your fast download which is the premium which is what you pay for or your free version which is a small little download anyway so for this you are going to need a like an extraction like a zip um browser so for instance that's going to now download it it's saying starting in one second there you go so i've got winrar uh, so you need something like winrar to unzip things on your pc so now that is just downloading that's going to take you know it's time it's only 34 megabytes it's nothing big so to locate your mod folder let's just open that when it's done um, go on to steam this is where you find your mods so you're on steam here click the game you want so planet zoo and then click on manage and then browse local files there we go and then this will bring up this one here so this is what your local files are here that mod is just installed in the background as well i think so what that is, yeah, the mod has just installed in the background. So when you're on here, you bring up Steam mod, you then go on to Win64 and then on to this OVL data. And basically, this is where you put all your mods just down here. As you can see, I've downloaded some other ones as well. I've downloaded some owls, I've downloaded a sea otter. So basically, with this one here, now you've got this opened on your WinRAR. Basically, just click this and then copy files to clipboard. And then simply just go back onto that Steam folder here and then just simply paste. There we go, it's in there. And now you load up the game. Make sure the game is closed before you download mods or is, uh, it won't be on. So there we go, that's downloaded from that website. Nice and easy, nice and safe. All you need is an account. Make sure you, you don't need any um, DLCs and make sure it's up to date, which is 1.8 currently. So now all you go is Planet Zoo and then we let that load up log on to planet zoo and the mod should be in there hopefully if things have done it correctly which i should have done i have put it in the right place we will just check that there we go uh let's just zoom i'm just in a, a uh, sandbox test mode at the moment Hopefully, it should be here. There you go, nice and quick to load. And now, if you just go into animal trading, here's some of the ones I got earlier. So, there's a dolphin, for example. Uh, if you just go into your animal trading and then just simply bring up os Ocelot, there we go. And there it is, the mod we just downloaded, Ocelot, is now here in your save file so i've downloaded a few other ones as well i downloaded a penguin for example which isn't in the game this penguin uh like you say i did the dolphin 
what else have I done? Um, a, a seal I did as well. That's another one I did. Lipid seal. There it is. So these are some of the mods I've downloaded. And you can see them in action. For example, I built a sea, like, a sea tunnel. I mean, the water's really murky. It needs cleaning. It's because I've got animals in it and I haven't got it cleaned yet. But as you can see, there are actually dolphins here in the, in the water. So it does work. It will work for your ocelots. So you just go and create an enclosure and basically plop them straight down. In fact, I might even be able to do it with this one. Has this one got a habitat gate on it? Um, it may not do. Let me just create a quick habitat. And I'll be back once I've created one, just to show you guys. Habitat made, then you just got to connect your um, path to here. So let's just get our staff path. Um, get that connected up here. Let's just change uh, the length of that, just so it does a little bit quicker. There you go, I don't have to do anything special. And then basically you just go on your animal trading and then go to the ocelots again. Ocelot, there you go. And then just do what you normally do, adopt, adopt. And then send a zoo and then stick them in here. There you go, delivery scheduled. Let's just speed up time. The zookeeper should bring them there. We are on paused. There we go, there's one of our zookeepers coming now with our new ocelots. They're going to come in here, drop them off, and boom, there we go. There it is in the game, the ocelot. How amazing is that? Mods, so simple to download. Simply just, like I say, go onto Nexus, create your account, find the animal you want, make sure it is 1.8, download it, make sure you have your zip file like WinRAR, ready and then just copy and paste it from your WinRAR to your Steam mod folder which is where I showed you just go into Steam browse for your mods and let's just copy and paste it straight into there so so simple hopefully I have helped somebody out today with this but yeah I didn't even know Planet Zoo had mods until like the other day I just thought it was um, DLCs and uh, the Steam Workshop so I'm so happy about that uh, it does actually have mods anyway thank you very much for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Take care and bye bye.